Hello, Internet. I bought a watch. No, but in all seriousness, uh, I went to a game convention this past weekend, and boy, did I buy a lot of stuff that I didn't need. But game conventions are a lot of fun. They don't really come to my town that often, and it's a lot of fun when they do. So I typically spend a little extra, and I got a lot of good stuff, including one little surprise that you'll see later on in the video. But for now, enjoy this overview, and let's get right into what I ended up buying. So I went into this convention with two ideas in mind. I wanted to find Atari Jaguar stuff, and I wanted to find Atari 5200 stuff. And I did, so I'm showing the Atari 5200 stuff first. Here we have two games, Popeye and the Star Wars arcade game. Popeye I got for $5, and the Star Wars the arcade game I paid $25 for. I'm not entirely sure why one was so expensive over the other. The guy who sold me Popeye said that he hadn't priced the games in a very long time and was surprised anyone wanted them. So, you know, there I was picking them up. And I'm basically going for a full set of Atari 5200 games at this point. And this is just two added to the collection. Next up is The Surge 2. I actually didn't get this at the convention. While in town, I stopped at a local game store and picked it up. And it's the limited version of the Surge 2 for PlayStation 4. It comes with this neat little cover art, an envelope that has some unique art pictures in it. I'm not sure why they came in an envelope. They're probably there to, you know, keep them from getting damaged and such, but there's only three of them. But they're very well made and they look really nice. There's also a little comic book that comes with it. I'm not really sure the whole plot of the game as I've never played the first one, but it's a nice addition. It's also this cool little poster that's probably going to go on my wall at some point. And finally, we get to the... Oh. Hmm. Well, looks like someone screwed up and they forgot to give me the game. Well, I mean, that happens, but at the same time, I am annoyed. Next up, we have No More Heroes 3 and a knife, because this one is still factory sealed. And I decided to open it. I don't really like keeping sealed games because at some point I may want to play this and it's better to just open it now because it wasn't really expensive to begin with. But I will keep the actual case for the game sealed because at least for this one I know there's a game in it because it's still sealed. Haha. <laughs> um, also that comes with it is this neat little uh, disc that's like musical soundtracks from the game. It's basically the official soundtrack. It's very nice. And then a license plate that says Mo on it. Um, I'll be completely honest. I don't know the story of No More Heroes. I kind of picked this up because I thought it looked neat. And it comes with this cool art book. And I know that some people are probably going to be like, well, why'd you get that? Well, I thought it was cool. Next up is Brutal Sports Football for the Atari Jaguar Complete in Box. I am very happy to have found this. Uh, some guy at the convention was selling basically half of an Atari Jaguar collection completed box. And this was one of the cheaper games that I could find. It was still $60, but it is a unique addition to my collection as I love anything Jaguar. So I'm very happy to have this. And it is in pristine condition. It looks like it's brand new. So... I'm very happy to have it, and yes, I did pay a bit for it, but at the same time, it's going to go right in my collection, and I couldn't be happier to have it. Plus, the box is in perfect shape compared to my Wolfenstein box, which is, you know, looks like someone ran over it with a truck, but that's okay. I still love it either way. So now we get to the final item I picked up. First off, I want to apologize if this fo uh, footage looks kind of specky. On YouTube I have no idea what happened while recording this but it looks like the camera lens was dipped in Vaseline I'm not entirely sure why but anyways this is the Bayonetta Trinity Masquerade Edition and I expected it to just be all about Bayonetta 3 but as I pull this out you will see that it is in fact all three Bayonetta games for switch uh, I was actually very surprised to find this. They don't come out very easily, but this whole thing lifts out, and underneath it is a huge art book. 
But there are the games, Bayonetta 1, 2, and 3 for our Switch. Nice uh, kind of restart to my Switch collection because I don't have a lot of Switch games. And the first thing I noticed about this art book is, boy, it's heavy. It is a huge art book. You get a lot of bang for your buck for this uh, guidebook. I'm sorry, art book. I don't really know what else to say. There's just so much to it. It's beautiful. The whole presentation is really well done. And honestly, this is a great collector's edition to have. If you could find it, get your hands on it because you're getting three games plus this big art book. And I only paid 60 bucks for it. So I consider that a win, considering I believe Bayonetta 3 is still going for $60 retail just by itself. So this is an incredible deal if you can end up finding it. So that's all the stuff that I ended up picking up from this game convention. Honestly, game conventions are a ton of fun, and I highly recommend going to them if you happen to have them in your town. Yes, I know some of this stuff could be expensive. I get it. But at the same time, it's nice to kind of see everything. And with COVID now kind of over, it's nice to get out of the house. But thanks for watching. Support me on Patreon. Like, comment, subscribe. And thank you for watching.